I would think of this watch as it can be a very good first piece into the luxury watch segment or if you like the feel of military watches or Rolex Explorers that kind of thing this would be a, a very suitable alternative to those kind of watches hey everyone welcome to two seconds watch YouTube channel today I'm gonna to be doing an unboxing of the Tudor Black Bay 41 so let's get started so here it is, the Tudor Black Bay 41. You can see here, this is a black dial version with a black NATO strap or fabric strap. You can have a look at the watch over here. High polish and the case size. So this watch is in a fairly good condition. I would rate it as a very good condition. You can pick up this watch on two seconds watch dot com so let's go to the case dimensions of this watch so the watch is 41 millimeters in diameter it is 11 millimeters thick so not very thick with a lug to lug length here to here of 50 millimeters the lug width here which is the spacing between the strap is 22 millimeters and of course on this fabric strap it does not taper down it is a thick 22 millimeters this is the uh, iconic smiley face version as you can see here from rotor self winding you've got smiley face you have the shield logo and if you look here at this crown you have the beautiful rose engraving on it as well looking closely at the case you can also see there's a bit of detail over here this watch obviously is in great condition you still have the sharpness over here if you're buying watches online always check the photo at these sides where they should have a zoom close-up of here so that you can actually see uh, the edges to make sure they are not over polished and how good condition they are so this watch is very well known for having uh, to be a what you call like a daily beater a go anywhere do anything watch or a gada watch it makes a fantastic proposition for one of those because the movement is actually a very 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 durable workhouse workhouse movement which is based on the Tudor self-winding mechanical movement caliber 2824 based on the ETA 2824 movement and of course being Tudor right they have uh, maybe modified it and it gives a very very good a durability on this watch so I would think of this watch as it can be a very good first piece into the luxury watch segment or if you like the feel of military watches or Rolex Explorers that kind of thing this would be a, a very suitable alternative to those kind of watches so you got a sapphire flat sapphire crystal over here which is very beautiful and if you look into the dial details I'll try to bring a bit of a zoom here so you can see a bit of the dial details you can see they're all very well made one thing about Tudor watches is they're very 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 well made but of course uh, you also see this um, bezel which is kind of big it's quite a large bezel as well so it is very high polished so you get a kind of feel on it so the dial has all the nice details I love the smiley face version which is self winding the curves along here and of course now with the new generation Tudor watches you no longer have this second tip which is square the new ones are rounded just so for your information of course you still have this snowflake snowflake our hands that's still there but other than that you know um, you know the, the, the new generation has changed quite a bit I like that this movement has a thin movement it's only 11 millimeters thick but of course being a 41 millimeters this is gonna wear quite large on certain wrists and on my six inch wrist well i can pull it off uh, i'll leave it to you to tell me in the comments below if it works for me i personally think it's too large as a go anywhere do anything watch for my wrist size for six inch but if you have six and a half inch to seven inches above of wrist size i think it would be a good fit or if you like wearing watches they are very large here you can also pick this watch up so before i continue with the video let's talk about the sponsor of the video which is two seconds watch.com so we have curated pre-owned watches, including this watch which is for sale and many others. And we also have watch straps 
for you to purchase you know leather watch straps that we feature here you can find them on the website as well thank you very much and let's go on with the video okay so let me just zoom back out a little bit and show you the fabric this is one thing i can tell you about the tudor watches is these early generation watches they sold it uh, especially this model with two straps so this nato strap or the fabric strap is so well made it's one of the best fabric straps you can ever get in the market and of course um, you know they used to come free with tudor watches so if you're buying tudor watches from the you know before 2020 you can get you should be getting a fabric strap and a rubber strap or a fabric strap and the bracelets because this one is included nowadays they don't include it free anymore and you know they charge a premium for it so let's take it out of here let me just go through let's put a watch at the side go through what's included very straightforward i like to this packaging it's not too crazy uh, you got this to the classic watches manual it comes with a full set the guarantee booklet okay on the tudor watch you can see it over here the serial number and the model number of this watch so you'll be getting the exact same watch if you shop it on our watch at two seconds watch.com this is the official guarantee and of course you know we want to be putting this here the date of purchase 13 march 2019 so this is from the authorized distributor of course i'm just covering it up but it's from an ad in malaysia and it was purchased in 2019 so like I said, you know, before 2020, you're going to get two of the straps included in the watch. Yeah? So there it is. Let's put it back in here. Let me show you a bit about the rubber strap first. So this is the rubber strap. Okay, it's got a wonderful deployment style. You can see it in detail over here. And you just lift it. That's how you take it out. Okay, so this is pretty much unused almost brand new okay and how you wear it is you put it in here and you close the clasp. so they make really really good deploying class uh, the only thing is if you are using oh yeah and the rubber strap is awesome condition as well it's really really beautiful the only thing is because if you have a smaller wrist and if you are thinking of using the rubber strap do take note this deployment is pretty large so it will sit kind of you know uh, of course, it will sit kind of uh, sticking out and really, really pushing out. See, it doesn't really fold as well here. Uh, it's not it's not a defect. This is how the Tudor class are. Of course, with the newer generation one, I think they've probably improved it. Not sure about the rubber. The rubber is very soft and supple. This is excellent condition. Most people will just wear it on this rubber strap if you have the wrist size. But if you don't have the wrist size, go for the smaller watch as well. Okay, so I'm going to put this here. Um... So I'm going to put this here, just close it up and put it to the side and bring the watch back in perspective. Yeah. Now let's go to the watch. I'm going to wind it up. So it's a screw in crown, screw down crown. And I'll give you the specs of the movement up here on the screen. So it has, like I said, the Tudor MT2824 movement. Tudor doesn't even try to hide that this is an EDA movement. But of course, with Tudors, you know, I said before, they make really, really good movements and of course they will do some of the tweaking and tuning so it will be of a very high grade 2824 moon should be the highest grade as well so screen crown it's 100 meter water resistance this watch and it has a 38 hour power reserve so the case back is very straightforward i'm not going to take the fabric strike out out here but if you take it out you can see it's just a flat case back very rolex style and this NATO strap, I don't know whether you are aware of it, but this NATO strap is not like just the sliding in between the lugs, but the lugs are actually made into the NATO strap in case you are not aware. It is built into the NATO strap. So it is of very, very high quality. And you know, I've seen some of the people wearing on Tudor NATO straps here. This hole here has never ever, pretty much never ever frayed. It's very, very durable because of the weave. And yes, if you're planning to adjust the length of this watch, make sure you watch the video online because there is a certain way you want to curve this to get it there working but other than that when you get it set up it'll look very brilliant on your wrist so yes it's screen crown 150 meter water resistance so you can really splash it around take it out you can even take it for a swim no problem no no problems on taking it for a swim so i'm going to wind the movement here just for you to see 
comes up straight away. Beautiful, beautiful movement. You screw in, there's no date, no complication. Very, very straightforward. It's a fantastic watch. So if you look at the Tudor Backway family, if you look at the catalog here, this is a 2019 catalog. You can see it online. They got 41, 36, 32 millimeters. All the specifications are over here. And yeah, you know, the only thing about this watch is I, I don't really know about the naming of this watch because seriously, you know, Tudor, um, I don't know how they name. Everything's Black Bay. If you go to the website, everything's a Black Bay line. So you can't really tell which is the Black Bay 41. Some people thought the Black Bay 41 is the one with the dive bezel. But I think officially this is called the Tudor Black Bay 41. This should be the Black Bay 41, not that dive bezel. The other one's just called Tudor Black Bay, which is kind of strange because it's also 41 millimeters. So let me show you a uh, comparison with a Hamilton Kaki automatic 42 millimeters over here. So this wear large and it has a 52 millimeter, uh, 51 millimeter lug to lug length. You see, it wears very large, just like the Hemi, the Hamilton here over here. So it can be a very good daily beater, all round to go watch. Okay, so just compare it side by side. I'm gonna show you just how it looks like. Very, very similar in dimensions as well. The only thing different on this is the Hamilton has the window to see the movement, which is actually brilliant. This is actually the, both the same movements as well. The EDA 28-24 movement on this one, and this one is also a similar 28-24. So the base movement is the same. So I'm going to put it on the wrist to show you how it shows. This is my 6-inch wrist, and you can see I can... I think I can pull it off, you know? I don't have a problem with it. It wears very well. There's not much float, but it does protrude to the end. So it wears very much like a large pilot's watch over here. You know, it does look... Brilliant. Actually, I can pull it off. I feel that I can. Yes, of course. Somebody, you're gonna say in comments, I can pull it off. But it's really a, it's more of a preference thing whether you want it. But six inch would probably be the minimum wrist size you want to have for this. And wearing it on the fabric strap, no problem because you know it goes down like this, so it's easy. But on the rubber strap, uh, it doesn't look good on my wrist. I have tested it before. So if you are thinking of buying this watch, and you have a smaller wrist. Make sure you try it on uh, at AD with a rubber strap if you're thinking about it. Well, of course, there are, if you, there, there are other aftermarket solutions available for very good rubber straps, including the Deployant. You can get one and shop straps on 2secondswatch.com. I'm going to show you a special promo code here to get a discount off your first order for any watch strap on the website as well. And of course, if you're going to purchase this watch, I'm going to give you a hundred US dollar discount on this just use the code on screen that you're seeing here right now or in the description below yep so this is a wrist shot let's talk about who this watch is for i think that if you're looking for an everyday watch a gutter watch or it's your first luxury watch purchase that you want to start getting your feet wet and going to these kind of watches the tudor blackway 41 is a no-brainer and you can get it at wonderful prices in the pre-owned market today um, you can easily get it for about you know up to less than 2,000 US dollars anything between a 1,800 to about 2,500 US dollars on the marketplace today at the time of recording so it is a bargain really for how is well is made what is made of uh, you know and of course the brand heritage you get with Tudor being the sister company or cousin company of Rolex you know you're gonna get a very well-made piece. No problems with wash. Make sure you like and subscribe. If you like this content, it will really support the channel. Thank you very much. And of course, yes, and check out the other videos over here because you know we have some nice videos coming up as well and different styles. You know, some are unboxing videos, some are uh, you know different kind of opinion videos that I have. So, yep. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.